have we here? I got this for my grandson. I think it's a hat. I found it in a kit bag in his closet. I want to know how much it's worth. Well, um, you are correct. Uh, it is a, a top hat, to be exact. Um, though it is rather strangely proportioned, isn't it? What? Uh, the broadly elongated crown, uh, the stunted and rather uh, flimsy brim. Uh, crown? You saying this is the hat of a king? Well, I, I, I would be surprised if there were a, a royal uh, lineage attached to this particular item. Uh, but still, uh, do you know its story? Ain't no story, it's just a hat. Adam worn it when he went out drinking. I see. Would you uh, like to know what I can glean about this item? I just want to know how much it's worth. Well, uh, this is a Canadian-influenced uh, replica of the headgear worn, of course, by the uh, storybook character, The Cat in the Hat. Created by Dr. Theodore Geisel in 1957. Better known to you, perhaps, as Dr. Seuss. Is that the Indian fellow down at the Poly Clinic? I, I, I don't think. N no. So what's the damage? In pristine uh, condition, I would be inclined to say uh, perhaps one dollar. That's all right, I guess. Uh, 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 however, I, I, I do detect uh, a odor of vomit uh, emanating from it. Yeah, Adam never really could hold his liquor. In, in, in the shape it's in, I would say its value is uh, 25 cents. Sold. Pony up. But I, I, I don't want to buy it. 50 cents, final offer. I, I'm not buying it. You can just keep the hat, you cheap bastard. Can I help you? Yes. Yes, I would like to know and for you to tell me uh, how much this piece of folk art is worth. You mean that tree branch? You found that tree branch outside this morning, didn't you? Yes. Can I have a dollar? No. So, you have a painting you'd like to show me? Yeah, my aunt died and left it to me. Not much of a painting, is it? No, uh, not really much of a painting. Yeah, thought it was probably worth nothing. Probably should just get rid of it. Uh, you could, uh, you could. Or, uh, maybe I could get rid of it for you, uh, save you the trouble. Look, I, I don't normally do this, but to make you feel better, I'd be willing to buy it from you. What's it worth to you? Well, uh, how much would you like to sell it for? I don't know, uh... Four dollars. That is a fair price. Just, uh, get my wallet out of my coat. I saw it from across the room. Shut up! It is! This is this an This gentleman inherited this painting from his dead aunt. It is practically worthless and I appraised it as such. Worthless? Yes! And this gentleman agrees. This painting is practically worthless. In fact, he's agreed to sell it. To me, for four dollars. Four dollars for that painting. I see. Very well appraised. That's very nice of you, sir. Well, you should probably be going now. I believe I saw a John A. McDonald flask over there. Yes. 
and I will go and look at it. Congratulations. Let me just get my wallet for you out of my coats. I see what's going on here. Excuse me? I think that you're trying to rip me off. I may have misspoke when I inferred earlier on that this painting was practically worthless, but I assure you, I was in no way trying to- Fifteen dollars. What? I want fifteen dollars for the paint. Fifteen dollars? Fifteen. You drive a hard bargain, sir. Wasn't born yesterday. Indeed not. Tell you what, keep the change. <laughs>